The Autobots are wandering around in space and just happen to come across Galvatron and some Quintessons messing around with something. Said it before, I'll say it again. Space is awfully small in this show. People are always just running into each other. Oh, the Decepticons and Quintessons are operating independently of one another. Which, yeah, good. They should be. This is a three-way war, damn it. I hate it when they forget about that. Skylinks barfs out some Autobots and they join the Fraka. Oh, so the thing is some kind of giant space lock. I guess the Quintessons just hit a planet inside a safe. In space. Sure, whatever. So, through some poorly animated actions, a bunch of the Autobots, a Quintesson ship, and Cyclonus somehow get pulled into the thing. Perceptor can't transform for some reason, and plummets toward a planet in microscope mode. Look, I've said this from day one, man. Unless you're magnifying very tiny things, your microscope mode is useless. I don't know why you keep contriving reasons to keep using it. And now, look where it's gotten you. Now you're crash landing on a planet of... um... Mongolians, maybe? Oh god, this is gonna be another... Primitive Planet thinks the robots are gods episode, isn't it? They capture Perceptor and drag him back to their village. Meanwhile, Blur twisted his ankle. Um, what? In the village, some kind of goofy shit happens where Perceptor's Autobot insignia, which is apparently something called a universal emulator, gets removed. I have no idea what that means, or why Perceptor would have one. I don't think they're going to tell us either. No, what they are going to do is install the thing into a geisha girl. Okay, what the fuck? I've endured a lot of nonsense through the course of this series, but this may be the most nonsensical of all. And not good nonsense like Hypno Nightclub, either. This? I just have no words. They took out a guy's Autobot insignia and installed it in a robot geisha. Why? The Autobots, meanwhile, try to rescue the Perceptor Lady. They leave Blur behind and he's promptly captured by Mongolians. Goddamn Mongolians! We get a lot of really boring exposition about these stupid people and their stupid culture, but I'm just going to blow past that because it's stupid. Here it is in a nutshell. The geisha was supposed to be an astronaut. Well, obviously. But then the Quintesson showed up and blew everything up. Then they went inside the robot Buddha statue and turned off everyone's glowing forehead jewels. And the stars disappeared. Remember, this is the simplified explanation. Bottom line, the Quintessons are jerks. The Autobots are trying to rescue their friend who is now trapped in a lady's body. They do. Then the space Asians get their glowing things back. The end. Man, this one was terrible. I can't imagine how they could get much worse. Oh god, I just looked at the title for episode 94!